Hi all. My name is Serge. Repair of electronic equipment. Not often, but sometimes you have to deal with the fact that you first need to replace or even check the operational amplifier. I'll show you how to do this using the LM358 as an example. I have a whole line of amplifiers. I put one of them on the board. Let's check with a regular measuring device. Can be aero or digital. Use it in voltmeter mode. We will also need a power source with a voltage of 5 to 10 volts, it's not critical. And two identical resistors with a resistance of approximately 1 comb. The main thing is that they are the same. I have them here on the board. This is a 1 comb resistor. Here's one, here's the second. Now let's look at the diagram. To make it clearer, this is what the diagram itself looks like. Now I will explain how it all works. Here's the power source. Here are two identical resistors. They are connected between the negative rail of the power supply and the positive rail. Because they are the same, here at the midpoint is half the supply voltage. In our case, with a 5 volt power source. At the junction of the resistors, 2.5 volts are obtained. For demonstration purposes, I will only test one op amp. The second one is checked in exactly the same way. The measuring device is connected to the negative wire of the power supply and to the output of the operational amplifier. The output of the op amp is connected to the inverting input. Based on the principle of a buffer repeater, the third pin is a non-inverting input. We will use it for testing. If we connect it to this point, where half the supply voltage is 2.5 volts, I have it connected with a yellow jumper. Then we should also get 2.5 volts at the output of the measuring device. I connect the power supply. Let's see. The multimeter reads 2.5 volts. This indicates that the op amp is working. What we have at the central point of two connected resistors is also at the output.